Copywriting is literally taking over right now. 14 year old kids are making more money than their parents while still in high school. 20 year olds are traveling the world while working just three hours a week. And guys from third world countries are providing for entire families by just typing a few words on a keyboard. The evidence is clear. Everyone is making money with copywriting. And that's because you can do it from wherever you want, whenever you want, you don't need any money to start, and you don't even need to be a native English speaker. It really doesn't get easier than this. So if you've always been intrigued by copywriting but never actually looked into it, congratulations, this video found you. My name is Mattia, and you're about to learn everything you need to know to get started with copywriting today. Let's get it. Let's get started. And before I actually show you what copywriting is, let me tell you why you should know what copywriting is and why you should stick around for this video. And that is because people are making money with it. This service is in need. All these are all screenshots for from my Discord server that you find down here in the description if you want to join or from my DMs. Okay. So this guy, my first ever win with copywriting, boom, $300. Other guy, $1,000 a month for three emails a week. That is maximum three hours a week of work which is 12 hours a month and he's making a thousand dollars. It's like, what is it? $80 an hour? Not even, I don't know, engineers almost get paid $80 an hour. It's crazy. Plus $300 for a blog post. This guy had my first sales call today, closed my first client. This other guy got my, fir uh, got my first client using my DM script. Other guy, $150 with a blog article, okay? So people are making money with copywriting, so it's in your interests to know what copywriting is. And I'm not gonna tell you what copywriting is, but I'm gonna tell you what a copywriter does. So the copywriter has the job to craft copy that persuades the reader into taking an action. Simple. You craft the copy, so you write the wording, and that wording, when someone reads it, it needs to be persuaded into taking an action. And that action might be buying a product, sharing the link, send you a DM or whatever that is, as long as there's an action involved and there is persuasion involved, it's called copywriting. And we see copywriting out there under a lot of different forms. There is email copywriting. And in a lot of cases, the, the goal of an email is to get the reader to click a link, go to a sales page, okay? We have VSL copywriting, which are basically video sales letter. And the copywriter writes the script for this video sales letter. They're simply long emails that someone can read and basically persuade the reader throughout the video, okay? Now, there's video scripts. So basically, a maybe the script for an ad or the script for an organic video because both of them can get people to take an action. The ad is generally is click the button down here. On an organic video, it might be, if you're interested, send me a DM with the word or comment with the word. Those are all action. Then there is ads copywriting, so the copy of the ad, not the video. Then there are sales pages copywriting, and they are both sales, sales pages and landing pages. That's intuitive. You know, you gotta sell, you gotta get them to buy the product. That is the action, and you write the copy to persuade the reader into doing that. Products copywriting, okay? So you write the product, the, script, the descriptions of products, for example, for an e commerce. The description of the Amazon product, okay, the, the, of the product you have in Amazon, has a big impact on whether they're gonna buy the product or not. They're get, you still are persuading people into taking an action. Or there's even ghostwriting, okay? So you basically write posts on Twitter for other personal brands, and all of those posts have a meaning, have a goal. Some of them is sending people to a newsletter. Some of them is sending people to a product. But at the end of the day, there is an action involved, okay? So these are all the main types of copywriting. Now, the most important thing that you need to understand to start copywriting is that humans are emotional beings. How do you get someone to take a specific action? That is probably the first question you have, okay? Because we know it's all about taking the action. Now, you need to understand that humans are not rational beings, but emotional ones. We act based on the emotions we feel. So as copywriters, the biggest weapon we have is using emotions to get the reader to take a specific action. And here are the four most powerful emotions. New, easy, safe, and big. But the secret is not to simply use the emotions, but to combine them. And let me show you how powerful our copy gets when we start combining these emotions. Okay, so you see that the green is new, the red is the motion of easy, the blue is the motion of safe, and the purple is the motion of big. Let's start with the first sentence, which has just one emotion. This system is changing lives, okay? It's safe because it's a system. And this is the emotion we're giving to the reader. Now, this new system is changing lives. New 
is much more powerful now when it's combined to system. So there's a new system that is changing lives. Much more powerful gets, hits a lot more the reader. This new foolproof system is changing lives. Okay, so it's foolproof. It's easy. I can do it fast. I, even a fool could do it. Now, how much, how much more powerful is this sentence compared to the first one? Now, let's read the last one with all the four emotions combined. This new foolproof system is changing millions of lives. That is huge, okay? This new foolproof system is changing millions of lives compared to this system is changing lives. All we did was adding words that had an emotion with them, okay? So there are specific words that create specific emotions. And I'm going to put all of them down here in the description in the power words list where you have all the words that create a specific emotion. And when you combine them, your copy is immediately going to be a hundred times better. If you, even if you are just a beginner. Now, you know about the emotions. It's time to structure the copy. Okay. There are many different structures you hear out there. Uh, DIC, PGA, whatever it is, you don't need it to start. Okay. All you need to understand is that all of those all the different types of copy, whether it's an email, whether it's a BSL, whether it's the copy of an ad, they all have three parts in common. There is a hook, there is the body, and there is the offer. The hook has the only goal to hooking the reader. They gotta be, uh, gotta be catchy. Now the body gets the reader intrigued and sold before the offer comes. And the offer is the call, basically just calls the reader to take action. A lot of people think you sell in the offer when the reality is that you sell in the rest of the, of the body. And then all you need to do is give them the little push of, in case you want to get started, click here. And that is the offer, okay? So if you think about it, all the different pieces of copy you see out there, whether it's the copy of an ad, whether it's the script of an ad, whether it's an email, a uh, Twitter post, they all have this in common, a hook, a body, and an offer. But how do you start writing them, okay? What is the pre-writing process. You start by identifying your avatar. What is the age, the sex, and the awareness of the product that your avatar has? And if you don't know what avatar means, it basically is the person you're targeting. Who is your ideal reader for the copy that you're writing, okay? Then you want to list the benefits of your product or your service. You want to list the pain points of the avatar, list the desires of the avatar, and match the desired point and the benefit, okay? That is how you're going to have the angle. And I know it sounds confusing, but all you need to understand is to start writing, you need to know, first of all, what you're selling or what you're trying to get people to buy or to take action on. Second of all, who is the person you're trying to sell to? And third of all, what's the best angle to tackle this person? What are, so for that reason, you need to understand what are his pain points, what are his desires. So that way you can understand what angle you can tackle the copy from. And I knew this was going to sound confusing to maybe a beginner. So I have an example for you. So what we're going to look at here is the ad script of a stretching facility ad. I wrote this ad script for a stretching facility ad. Okay. So first of all, as you can see, there is this little process of basically avatar and uh, product understanding. So as I said before, we start by understanding what is the benefit of the offer. Okay. The benefit was a free stretching session in this case. What is the product niche stretching? What is the benefits of our niche? Okay. What are, what is the benefits of having a stretching session? Immediate soreness and relief, increased mobility and flexibility, accelerated muscle recovery. Who is my avatar? A 30 to 50 year old male who does not know what a stretch, he do doesn't know there's a stretching facility close to him. What are the desires of the avatar? Staying in shape, play sports with friends on the weekend, be agile and have good mobility. What are his pain points? Now, right now he's sore and have still muscles and a slow recovery, which is normal with the age. And what is the angle we're going to use for this copy? Reading at these, we can see that they have sore and stiff muscles. And one of our benefits is that we have immediate soreness relief. So our angle is going to be sore and stiff muscles plus immediate and soreness relief. So we already know where we want to get with our copy. Now I have already written this copy. Let me read it to you. As we can see, it's also divided in hook, body, and offer. So do you understand the different section? Last week, the NBA was so good that made me want to get back on the court. So I hit up my friend Paul to go shoot some, but things didn't go as planned. Okay. We built intrigue. People are going to keep on reading. I started with the NBA, a big name, something that, you know, hooks people. He told me he couldn't play because his lower back was tight and sore. 
which is the pain point. So we're calling out the pain point of people. So we're giving the address of this place in Tyler, Texas, where new they offer a free stretching session. Of course, obviously, this ad is for people who are in Tyler, Texas, and we know here that they're not aware that there is a stretching facility close to them. So we called it out. Of this place in Tyler, Texas, where new they offer a free stretching session, this is the benefit of our offer. And guess who called me just 20 hours later? Paul, where did you go play some basketball? As soon as he saw me, he called me a lifesaver. Right? I said, don't thank me, thank just stretch. They're the real lifesavers. So can do, so this was the body, and you see how we've basically already sold people who have a sore back. We've already told them, hey, like, if you have a sore back, this is what you need. It works with Paul, it can work with you. It's in Tyler, Texas, next to your house. And it's a free stretching session. We've, over, we've already sold them. All we have to do now is telling them, take action. So the offer is, so I can do but suggest to click the button down here to go book your free stretching session today and say goodbye to all your pain. You see how easy this copy is? You see how it follows exactly what we said we we're going to follow. The, oh, we start with the, the hook and the body then the offer. And I understand though that if you don't have a clear path on how to write all of this or even all of this, you might get confused. So for that reason, I have another video where I show you exactly how I wrote these exact script. But not only that, I also show you a strategy to find your first client and make $70 just to write this little thing and find the clients for it. So I'll leave you the, the video, the link up here. I'll leave it also here. Go check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave a comment, drop a like, whatever you want to do. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next video.